The Culinary Marathi began last year when we brought the uh, Craft Guild of Chefs to Jersey and decided that we needed a way forward and to get some competitions on the go. We needed to get the Craft Guild of Chefs to Jersey because even though we were members of it as part of the UK, it was good to have our own branch over here in Jersey and it puts us on the map. The whole idea of it is that we get different chefs from different establishments on both islands working together as a team. We also include students in that. So the Jersey team, you've got five chefs from different establishments in Jersey, then including one student from Highlands College. And Guernsey, again, you've got five chefs from different establishments, plus their one student from the Guernsey College. We've got three very high profile chefs coming from the UK that really endorse training and endorse the Craft Guild of Chefs. We've got um, Henry Brossi, which is the executive from the Dorchester Hotel. We've got Paul Gaylor from Lanesborough, and we've also got Andrew Bennett from Park Lane Hotel. So the three judges uh, arrive first thing in the morning at half seven with the rest of the teams. Uh, there's a briefing on what they're actually going to be judged on. Um, most people would think that judging is just on the food only, but it's not. It's everything from the ingredients that they ordered down to their teamwork, communication, and they have to actually have several briefings during the day to see how things are going. And then, of course, obviously the food is judged as well. All throughout the day, we've been looking at what they've been doing. We're looking at the way the team's been managed, the team's been captained, the amount of skills shown, the way they're working, cleanliness, etc. Then as, as service starts, we, we look at every meal. We all charge independently, we talk about it around the table, and from there we'll find out who the winner is. But it, I can tell you now, it's going to be very close. Very close. We're just right in the middle of it at the moment. So far, so good. Um, we're hitting our timelines and we're producing good standard food. We've been working with some game, so some venison, some rabbit. The main course is lamb, and we've had some smoked haddock, some mussels, so a real varied bag of ingredients we've got. On the menu, we've got pressed rabbit terrine uh, with a sultana puree, split jus vinaigrette. Just about to serve the, the uh, fish course. There's smoked haddock ravioli, fennel coriander salad, and a massa lesbian mark. Uh, main course is lamb, aubergine tomato, jus, and dessert is chocolate and caramel pepe. The team's worked extremely well and they've been working together for years, which is great to see. That's the idea of the competition, is to get that camaraderie going, but also put great food on the plate. Churches are absolutely superb. The, the legends in our own right, and we're very, very privileged to have them in churches. And the feedback we're looking forward to getting some real good feedback from them. The staff have been great outside, they've, they've come back very happy, but the customers are happy. It's an experience, it's a food experience. Uh, it's been very enjoyable, the food's been absolutely stunning. The food has been excellent, and I think we've all really enjoyed it. So this year, but the trophy's going nowhere. We're staying in Jersey, and Jersey are the team winner. The food has always been important to both islands, and I've judged it both islands, so I know how important the food is to them. There's nothing wrong in, in, in motivation and competition, you know, it's healthy for the system. <laughs>